Halloween is festive for kids, but not so much for pets. In fact, it can be frightening and even deadly for our four-legged members of the family. So we are learning more from Veronica Bingaman, who is an associate veterinarian at ABQ Pet Care Hospital. And she joins me today with, with who is this, this little sweetheart? This is Tinky, one of our tech uh, nieces' dogs. So, yes, little thing. <laughs> she's got a little outfit on. Yes. Is that your Halloween costume? Yes, here? she says, I'm all ready for Halloween. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> so um, this, this is a, a great little costume, but some costumes can be pretty hazardous Absolutely. to our pets, right? Can we talk yes. about that? Absolutely. Pet costumes are cute. They bring out their personalities. So ideally, we'd like to keep it simple. Something like a little dress or a sweater, maybe a little hat or a bandana, something loose. Mm -hmm. Just because if there's too many um, accessories, it could cause you know injury. If there's a vision obstruction, again, so something could become an injury. So we just want to keep them safe. Keep them safe. Yes, and yes. just just point some of these out, first of all, because so, they're very cute. Yes. Um, this little this little sort of uh, ruby cowboy hat. Yes. Now something like this would be is okay. Do we need to monitor our pets if they've got something around their neck like Absolutely. that? Absolutely. The one thing is, Chad, we never want to leave our pets alone with a Halloween costume. Uh -huh. Even the smallest pieces. You know, this is you know uh, if you a little cowboy, a little pieces <laughs> that come on with it, they can ingest it and they can choke yeah. on it. They can it can get stuck in their stomach. So we just want to always monitor them, make sure that we're with them when they're wearing a Halloween costume. Right. Very mm -hmm. important. Okay. Yes. And now, what about some of the decorations? Of course, mm -hmm. people decorate. Decorate the house yes. if you know if you take your dog out trick or treating yes. with you, jack o' lanterns, things like that. Yes. What should we be avoiding? You know, we're putting out lots of little ornaments, so those may look like chew toys to our dogs. Mm -hmm. So we want to make sure that there's nothing really in reach that they can get. Okay. Um, also, with our cats, if we have things with an, um, electrical cords, they may right. want to chew on them, and that could lead to burns. And right. the one thing with pumpkins is, is, of course, the candles. They want to explore. They might knock it over. It could cause a burn to them or a, a cause a fire. So right. you may want to consider something like this, something mm -hmm. plastic. It has a light that you put inside of it that's battery, or battery powered. Mm -hmm. So you may want to do something like that. And yeah, and those LED, them. those little LED candles are, you know, very inexpensive yes. and, you know, they work pretty well, mm -hmm. especially if it's on a windy night, too. Exactly, exactly. No fires. Right, and so now if, if, People are going trick or treating now. My dogs—they're very territorial. Mm -hmm. I love them, but they—they yes. they know it's their home. <laughs> so, what can we do to prepare our pets for trick or treaters that are coming to our house and keep everybody safe? You know, that's such a good point. During Halloween, they become skittish. They can mm -hmm. become anxious just because one, the doorbell's constantly ringing, right. and they—they get scared because of that. And then also the the voices of the kids, mm -hmm. and also their costumes themselves can startle pets. So, sure. uh, absolutely, they can run away. They can get frightened. So, make sure they have identification at all times. You know, a tag or a microchip. We cannot stress that enough and also maybe put them in another part of the house put up a baby gate and just kind of um, allow them to acclimate to that before Halloween comes Oh, okay. Before mm -hmm. Halloween comes, that's yes. a really good point. Yeah. Give it a little bit of a buffer time before the big night. Exactly. Gotcha. Yes. Yes. Now, of course, Halloween means treats. Mm -hmm. Lots of, you know, I think most folks do know about chocolates. Those are always yes. bad. Mm -hmm. But what other treats uh, that our kiddos are bringing home are toxic to our animals? Absolutely. You know, of course, there's chocolates. The big thing is it's toxic. It has caffeine, causes an upset stomach. Um, it has a toxin for the heart and the liver, so it can be life threatening. But the other thing is, um, a lot of people don't know about xylitol. It's a sweetener that's in a lot of candies and gums, and it can. Actually, drop their blood sugar. Even really? with a, a, a little piece of gum or candy, can drop their blood sugar, and that can be life-threatening. So it's something to 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 know. The other thing is lollipops, the sticks, or other plastic wrappers. You know, they want to eat that. They like the taste, the smell, and that can become a choking hazard right. or an obstruction of some sort. So those are some treats to really know about. Also, raisins is another one. Raisins can cause raisins and grapes. Mm -hmm. A lot of people don't know that can cause kidney yeah, damage. I just learned that the mm -hmm. other day yes. that, that grapes can be really toxic. Yes. So of course, you know, then it uh, it goes that raisins would be as well. Because yeah. people might want to do a healthy treat and <laughs> exactly. it's not necessarily it's healthy, not for, so healthy for our little <laughs> our, our little four legged friends. Exactly. Well, so overall, how can our viewers best prepare their animals for Halloween? So first is identification. You know, like we talked about, they can run away. Cats also, you want to keep them indoors. The other thing is just, you know, they want to participate. So get some um, dog and cat um, friendly treats mm -hmm. for them so that way they can participate. Mm -hmm. And the other thing is just keep them safe, keep them indoors, and um, just make sure that um, you prepare your house. Fantastic. Mm -hmm. Are you looking forward to Halloween? She says yes. Oh, goodness. Yes. So cute. <laughs> so very cute. Well, Veronica, thank you for this information. Absolutely. Very important this no time problem. of year. Yes. All right. And so, actually, one more thing um, I want to I want to check on. We got a, a pet contest, yes. a costume contest yes. coming up. So um, we'll send you off with uh, the details on how our viewers can get involved with it. Yes. Follow um, follow us on our, our Facebook page, like us, and on there we have some information. Enter a picture of your pet with their cutest costume, and then we'll announce the winners on Halloween. On Halloween, fantastic. Mm -hmm. yes. Well, thank you so much. Have a happy Halloween. Thank, thank you. you. Oh, oh goodness. <laughs> All right. Thank you. Thank you.